Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, your lovely faces, to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, we got something great to look at today. Yesterday, Johnny Depp did a art exhibit opening for the like, close friends and executives and all that kind of stuff in New York. And well, we're going to take a look at it because this is always good things to see. Good things to see. I don't know why I said that because this is just great to see, not good things. Anyway, it's for me. It's early in the morning, and there is someone like stupid, like half past six here. And I just couldn't sleep. So I thought, why not make a video? So Johnny Depp continues his comeback with a brand new art exhibit dubbed A Bunch of Stuff in New York City. Days after hitting the red carpet in Spain to promote his new movie, Johnny Depp was backstage side, promoting something much different. The 61-year-old actor was spotted in New York City for the opening of his experimental art exhibition dubbed A Bunch of Stuff. The installation is described as a multi-layered immersive exhibition showcasing the artwork of Johnny Depp for the first time. Depp was spotted posing with Emily Grenier, Nathan Holmes, and Sophia Vilman, I, I hope I'm saying that right, or Vileman, Guy Vesey, Alex MacDonald, James Barefoot, and, to me, the most important one, Pirates of the Caribbean producer Jerry Bruckheimer. We know that they are extremely good friends, and Bruckheimer has gone on record stating a multitude of times, I want Johnny in the films because he is pirates. Everyone knows this. The actor stepped out in a grey t-shirt under a camo shirt and a grey scarf wrapped around his neck. He also donned a pair of black sunglasses with a tan cowboy hat that matched his light brown trench coat. And there he goes, looking dapper as usual. And I do like his shoes, I must admit, with the uh, paint spatter on them. They are really cool looking. And again, if you're doing an art exhibit, you gotta have it there. The actor completed his look with light blue jeans and a pair of black paint splattered oh, there you go, dress shoes. The exhibition is described as a multimedia exhibition that features large-scale immersive rooms, traditional gallery spaces, and themed retail spaces. That is pretty cool. The exhibit will be guiding you through the different phases of his life and creative journey, enriched by his own narration. So with that there, that would be, for me, the price of admission alone. Going through all of these paintings and everything else on the walls and seeing what he's done. And then you just have his history of how he's come to do it. For me, obviously, it would be the Marlon Brando painting and the Al Pacino painting. Because to me, everyone knows Al Pacino is the greatest actor ever in my eyes. Marlon Brando is a close third. Rob De Niro's second, obviously. But just the way that he has idolized Marlon Brando throughout his years just for acting. And it's interesting to see how... He would pick up certain things that Brando did or what he was talking about. And obviously Johnny Depp would follow similar path with the way he would improvise and sometimes read off cue cards, which Brando was very, very famous for. He just literally on The Godfather. Well, there's actually photos of The Godfather with Robert Duval wearing the actual uh, like billboard sign with all of his uh, lines on it when he's looking at them so he can talk to him. Is also done in Superman, Apocalypse Now, so many things. But just seeing what you would go through. And one of the things I'm just reading by there now, the themed retail space. That would be a very interesting, just a story going through that. I really do hope that this actually comes to the UK. If it goes to London, I will be going up there to have a look at this because I really, really think this is something special. It's also said to be an exploration of how Depp's artistic practice has both reflected and enriched his life throughout his various stages. Above all else, Depp's art reflects his journey. What started as a compulsive need to create, to explore his thoughts and feelings, has developed into a rich and varied body of work, infused with wide-ranging influences from art history. The heart of the exhibition is called The Black Box, described as a 360-degree visual experience that immerses viewers in the artwork of Johnny Depp. The black box was created by Tate in close collaboration with him, said to be meticulously designed to transform Depp's artwork from canvas to animated film. The white box includes 60 physical artworks created by Johnny Depp spanning three decades. That would be so cool. You know, it's it's, it's going to be cool to see. It really is. I see there, a bunch of stuff is what it's called. Got another one there, a bunch of stuff, Johnny Depp. And obviously we got a, quite a few photos here. But one of the things that going through these I noticed is that they never showed him with Jerry Bruckheimer. And I was a bit like, oh, you know, 
come on, it's Jerry Bruckheimer. The guy is a legend, and he's one of the biggest people in Johnny Depp's life. You know, he's the one who cast him for Pirates. He's the one who saw, right, this guy's got some in for this role. Carrying on, though, the outing comes just days after Johnny Depp reprised his famous Captain Jack Sparrow role in order to put a smile on children's faces on Thursday, which we did a video on the other day and is just absolutely amazing to see that Johnny would go back and still do this, even after he got burned by Disney. But like we said in that video, I really do think a deal could be made between them, and if the deal is great, Johnny would go back. I really do think so, because he knows how much that character means to his fans, and Johnny loves his fans. The actor 61 played the protagonist, obviously, and uh, thrilled youngsters at the Donostia University Hospital in San Sebastian, as he got back in character to pay them a visit. In a statement by the uh, health service, they revealed the Hollywood legend brought joy to the hospital as he chatted, played, and laughed with the children. See, that is just absolutely amazing. It's just, it's just heartwarming, you know? It's just so nice to see and to hear. Johnny, who's been promoting his directorial effort, Modi, in the San Sebastian Film Festival, is also said to have stayed in character the whole time, so as not to ruin the illusion. See, this is the thing when you got when you look at certain Hollywood actors. For me, there's a couple of actors who they will go out of their way to help people and to show the fans and everything else and just spend time with them. You can do that. You got Johnny Depp. You got Keanu Reeves, which in my eye, Keanu Reeves is probably the nicest actor ever. You know, he does everything for anyone. And this is a surprising one, even though he is a bit of bit of a nut job because he's a Scientologist for Tom Cruise. We've seen where Tom Cruise has gone to premieres and everything else. They've had to drag him and he's told him, no, start the film without me. I'm out here signing autographs and taking photos because they're here for me. Those three to me are the ones who are like, you know what? Their fans mean more to them because they know, right, my fans are the ones who made me this. That's it, you know? Like I said, even though he is a Scientologist and obviously that part where we've done it on this channel, tons of stuff where Scientology to me is one of the craziest and just ludicrous cults ever. But even though he's a part of that, he still loves his fans. That's the good thing. With Johnny Depp staying in character the whole time, because he was there for a few hours as well. That is what makes him special. That just is. Sweet images on the ward show Johnny happily posing for pictures with the children and cradling the babies on the pediatrics and oncology award wards. Not awards, wards. And that's what we got by there. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing to see that this art exhibit. I really do hope it comes to London because I really want to go and see this. I'm not going to fly to New York just to see this and come back. You know, and plus, <laughs> that is a little bit out of the way, like, you know, for uh, just to go and see one thing and come back. Again, is it though? No, no. A anyway, but guys, what do you think about this? Let me know below. If it comes to your part of the world, will you go and see it? Because I'm pretty sure it would. It won't just be in New York City. I'd, I know I would expect it to be in like California and other places like that. And especially in London where they do have a lot of... I mean, a lot of art exhibition museums and everything else. This, I think, would go down a storm anywhere in the world. Let us know what you think about this down below, folks. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.